Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. Now, there are plenty of third-party file utilities that will allow you to rename your files, but you can actually now do that directly within Mac OS. Uh, it's actually built into the operating system. So to do that, I've got some files here, which I've actually downloaded from Photos. And as you can see, unfortunately, the file names are a bit mangled, not really uh, useful to anybody in that form. So I want to rename these files. Now I can do them either individually or in bulk. So individually I could select single file, but to select them all, shift and click on the last file in the list and then control or right click to bring up the menu. Now from here I can rename the 12 items and this gives me the built-in rename finder items panel. So three different options. I can replace text. So if I had uh, a string in here that I wanted to search for and then replace, I would just type the string in here, type what I need to replace that string with in here and then tap rename, but uh, not really appropriate for this particular instance. I can add text. So if I wanted to add a string either before or after the name, let's say I wanted to have uh, dash Seattle. You can see in the example, underneath the panel, how that would look. But again, not really what I want. I could have that before the name as well if I wanted to. And again, I can see the example here. I'd take that dash off the beginning and perhaps put it at the end. But again, not really what I want. So the third option is a more sophisticated option and that's to format. So here I can change the actual structure of the name itself. I've got various options. I've got name and index. So use the existing name and add an index at the end, currently one. I could start the number at another number if I wanted to, say five. And you'll see in the example, we've got the five at the end, but let's put that back to one. I can change it after or before the name as before, but I've got more options here. I can go to name and counter. So that will give me an incremental counter for each file and also name and date. So I can put a date on as well. Now, I still don't want this original file name. So let's go back to name and index and let's put a custom format in. So oh, these are from Seattle. So if I type in Seattle, Say so space dash space. I can now see in the example how the files would be renamed. Um, that looks good. So let's go ahead and say rename. And there are my 12 files all renamed with the name Seattle and an index number. And that's all built into Mac OS Sierra. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.